In 1881, um, some birch bark was discovered with what was revealed to be mathematics written on it. And this isn't a, a, some sort of a theoretical text. It seems to be a, a practical document that is being used by merchants to, to do calculations. And this came to Oxford eventually in 1902. And it's been sitting here in the Bodleian and it's full of mathematics. But the most exciting thing is that we've identified a zero. So I visited a little temple in Gwalior, um, which has a zero marked on the wall, and this dates to middle of the 9th century AD. The expectation was that this document would be maybe around there, maybe a bit sort of a dead heat or something. I'm absolutely staggered to find that this is way earlier. I mean, we're talking about having carbon dated this. This manuscript is between 200 and 400 AD which I think has shocked everyone about just how early the zero that's in this document is. This probably isn't the first time that uh, something has been used as a placeholder in a number to denote, um, well, there's nothing in this place. So the ancient Babylonians, um, so we're you know, going back 5,000 years, they had the need to represent nothing. And if we go to the ancient Mayans as well, the Mayan culture had a symbol of a shell to denote nothing as a placeholder. So one could say, well, you know, here we're just seeing uh, this placeholder again being reinvented in India. So why is this so exciting um, a a as a symbol? Because this becomes the birth of the concept of zero in its own right. And this is a total revolution that happens um, out of India. It's like, uh, I was never a fan of the Beatles because the Beatles are always there, but if you speak to older people, they're like, oh, when the Beatles turned up, it was amazing. And I imagine it's you know, very similar to zero. Zero is a concept we're all completely used to, but you know, when someone first came up and, to you and said, uh, how many cows are there in your field? And you say, well, what are you on about? There aren't any cows. And he's like, no, there's zero cows. It must have been uh, quite a, a revolutionary idea. This is what's so exciting. This is coming out of a culture that is quite happy to conceive of the void, to conceive of the infinite. Um, and so the idea of having a symbol for nothing is part of their philosophical culture. And that is exciting to recognise, that um, culture is important in making big mathematical breakthroughs.